Well, okay, welcome back, guys, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the first run of the Haboxine Rampage 118 scale four wheel drive monster truck. I'm going to try and keep my thoughts brief here as I'm going to put this in with the running video as well. Uh, again, for the price point in the 70 ish dollar range, uh, this thing is a whole lot of fun, just like a lot of the other 118th, 116th scale stuff that's on the cheaper side. You pop a battery in these cars, you just go out and rip them, and they're pretty indestructible. They're not super fast, so breaking things, you know, are going to be kind of tough. Uh, first off, I'm going to talk quick about the battery with the supplied USB charger. It's an 850 milliamp hour, I believe. Takes, uh, I think it was around an hour and a half. I put this on my uh, hobby grade charger. It took uh, 26 minutes to charge the battery. Um, so other than that, uh, as I tend to do, I did manage to lose one of the body clips off of the truck. <laughs> That's just the way it goes for me with body clips. Um, truck's a whole lot of fun. Held up to the, uh, held up to my abuse just fine. And, uh, you know, what to say about these? You know, I'm going to compare this quick to the, uh, the ratchet. This one, obviously, you can see in some of the clips with the rougher stuff, handles it quite a bit better because it does have some more ground clearance on it and uh, obviously the bigger tires uh, these are by not any means soft tires but compared to the ones on the ratchet uh, they're a lot softer so it does allow it to soak up the the bumps quite a bit more uh, all the footage you saw of this was it running on the the normal speed setting on the radio I didn't even drive it in slow but again for what it is for the amount of money this thing was a lot of fun and out of that battery I got just over 10 minutes of runtime and that was pretty much full on throttle I'd say probably 95% of the time didn't break anything everything came out just fine obviously friction shocks but with this truck it works just fine I, I you know unless I feel like getting adventurous you know I'm probably gonna keep the shocks as is and uh, trying to think if there's anything else oh when I was getting this truck ready like I said, you get the LEDs and you got to put them in yourself. <laughs> because of the, the size of the car and, you know, my big fat sausage fingers, uh, I had a heck of a time getting the LEDs into the buckets. And, uh, you know, in case you pick this up, uh, what I ended up doing was uh, I removed uh, these two screws here. It, they allowed me to bend this back just a bit. I undid the, the front shocks at the top to get those out of the way. And I had to like kind of pull this down, and it's flexible, to get the LEDs in there. Uh, I had a heck of a time, but I'm sure I'm not the only one. Maybe I am. Who knows? Um, you know, not a whole lot else to say about this. It's a, uh, it's a fun truck, you know. And, and again, for the price point, it's just a truck you can charge a battery up, hand this thing off to your kids, take it outside yourself. Uh, you know, it'll handle pretty decent uh, types of terrain. And uh, you really don't need, I think, a whole lot, as far as the plastics go on this, about breaking it. You know, the electronics, you know, it, it's always a possibility that down the road something's going to go. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention about this in comparison to the Ratchet, um, I had a lot better range with this over the Ratchet, so that's some good news to report. Guys, I think that's going to do it for the first run of the HBX Rampage. As always, I appreciate everybody taking some time out of their days to watch my videos. That means a whole lot. Guys, till next time, everybody take care. We'll see you around.